It's your boy T Money. Makes bucks with another lit lit live reaction, man. Today I'm reacting to P Diddy getting arrested in Manhattan after a grand jury indictment. So you know, if you have been living under a rock and haven't heard of these all these allegations, you know of uh, what's going on with Diddy. You know what I mean, like. He's been doing some nasty work. You know what I mean? The diddler has been diddling almost everybody in the industry. And, you know, it's uh, finally coming out to light. You know, like, you know, it's a lot lot going on. But we're going to get into this reaction and um, deep dive into this. You know what I mean? No diddy. You dig? Sean P. Diddy Combs has been arrested and indicted on federal charges. The disgraced music icon has faced startling allegations for months of rape, sexual assault, physical abuse, gun trafficking, and drug trafficking. On Monday evening, he was indicted by a grand jury in New York. He was taken into custody in Manhattan. And you gotta think about this, right? So think about how long Diddy been in the industry, you know what I mean? He been in the industry for like damn near like 30 20 30 to 20 years something like that something crazy you know what i mean like you know what i mean came out as puff daddy back in the day you know what i mean with mace and all you know what i mean with you know say junior mafia biggie you know say total 112 you know what I'm saying big you know what I'm saying make it make it people make it make him the band members walk across the bridge for some cheesecake you know what I'm saying doing some real nasty work where he's been for the last week in anticipation of these charges. Now, the charges haven't been made public just yet. In fact, the indictment was sealed. But according to the New York Times, a person familiar with the prosecution says they believe Diddy faces charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. Diddy's legal team. They say he got tapes. You don't know about the tapes, you know what I'm saying? That's what they really about. And the thing about it is a lot of these industry people been in uh, some compromising positions just to say, you know, say it lightly. You know what I'm saying? And he recorded everything. Everything that happened in the Diddy parties was uh, recorded. You know what I'm saying? That's how he, you know, basically kept, you know what I'm saying, people like basically back blackmailing everybody. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire, adoring his children, and working to uplift the black community. He so, it's it right now, it's two different sides of the story, you know, being told like, you know, uh, by you know, the attorney of Diddy, you know, and he's trying to paint him to be, you know, this, you know, good person, you know, what I'm saying great businessman did everything for the black community. But a lot of people don't feel the same way. He is an imperfect person, but is not criminal. To his credit, Mr. Combs has been nothing but cooperative with this investigation, and he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide. And he looks... I mean, you know, till, till evidence come out, you know what I mean? A lot of people have been, you know, saying, oh, you know what I'm saying, did he this, did he that, you know, but... Did he do that? You know what I mean? Like, did he did he do it? It's too many allegations. You already settled one, you know, one one thing about sex trafficking, and now you got this. So looks forward to clearing his name in court. All this comes about six months after two of Diddy's homes were raided by federal investigators back in March. Then we couldn't confirm Diddy was the target of the Homeland Security raids or what information the feds collected. Most of what we know came from the five civil suits with a series of shocking allegations ranging from the 90s until now. Multiple people... From the 90s, it's 2024. That's, 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 that's a long reign of terror, if that's what y'all... Peyton the picture for, you know what I'm saying, Diddy to be.
alleged Diddy raped them, drugged them, and recorded all of that. We can't confirm it just yet, but it was likely those civil lawsuits that led up to the federal investigation and later Diddy's arrest. He used his power and influence against the black community. So on one hand, you got the, the lawyer, Diddy's attorney, saying that he did so much to get community. And you know what I mean? Now we got, you know, we got Corey sitting here telling otherwise you know what i'm saying he's in the he's in the industry so he has more of a like background you know what I'm saying to speak on it so let's see what he got to say for it that's the truth i didn't see him beating up on white bitches I didn't facts ain't never smacked up no white joint you know what i'm saying I didn't see him beating up on caucasian Caucasian women. I, I didn't. I didn't hear about him getting um, Caucasian men dealt with. Facts. Hey, y'all say speak your truth, y'all. Hey, Corey, speak your truth. You know what I'm saying? Because all these is like, hey, I have to agree with him for real, for real. Y'all say he wasn't he wasn't diddly in the the you know saying no white joints he wasn't diddly in no you know say messing with no you know you know uh white execs and stuff like that you know what I mean it was always you know say somebody that looked like us. He used his power against the people in his community and. Except with Justin Bieber, though. I forgot about Justin Bieber. You know what I'm saying? But does Justin Bieber really count, though? <laughs> Time has added up where our conglomerates, especially in the music industry, are going to fall. Oh, a lot of a hey, that's what I what I tell you. A lot of these industry cats is scared to death. You know what I'm saying? Because they get exposed. And what the, what I think is going to happen is after they get exposed, they just go and turn around and say, "Well, Diddy made me do it," or "Diddy, you know what I'm saying, pop something in the drink," or "Diddy made me," you know what I'm saying? "Diddy made me get diddled, diddy lies." You know what I'm saying? He got diddled lies because you know he was also some type of substance. I don't know. That's my, you know, what I'm saying my speculations. You know what I'm saying? It's all allegations till it's proven. You dig? I know he got video. All the people parties. who act like. Who wasn't? Corey think everybody gay. Remember, I, I've heard this. Yeah. I believe that a lot is about to be exposed because that man wasn't just some regular dude doing regular shit. That man got a video collection. And I know he got a video collection that Diddy the to names have a, are just go for Diddy to have a video collection and record everything, all everything have evidence on everything. Like you making it easy for the feds, dog. Like for real, that's crazy work. You know what I'm saying? You have everything on surveillance. You've been, you know what I'm saying? Like time stamp, and that's crazy work right there. Oh, okay. get sprinkle out, sprinkle out, sprinkle out. I know it. It's not the end. The arrest of the brother Puffy. This has layers. And it's going to validate Corey Holcomb. Because I told y'all Hollywood is a man on man or and y'all and y'all call me crazy saying I was a conspiracy theorist. I don't know what I'm talking about. But then when all these things get brought to light, 
I'm just sitting here. Hey, I'm going to be humble about it. But, you know what I'm saying? You still get you still get that. I told you so. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no conspiracy. There ain't no conspiracy theory now, right? Ain't no conspiracy theory now. So everything I said, hey, came to light. But y'all ain't want to hear me there. Music industry is a man on man only. You got you Corey Holcomb telling you. Telling you. You know what I'm saying? All these, all these names. You know what I'm saying? You got the Diddy's. You know what I'm saying? The Will Smiths. You got the Justin Beavers. You got the Ushers. You got all, like, you know what I'm saying? All these, all these industry puppets getting controlled. And I think they're getting controlled because they got, me personally, got tapes on them that don't, they don't want to expose and tarnish their image. But that's just me. What do I know? I'm a conspiracy theorist. You will see. Hmm. You will see. What I'm saying is, I am glad that people are about to get exposed because I feel like artists who don't move like that are being stagnant. Stagnated. Mm -hmm. Is that the word? Is that yeah. a word? Yeah, like held back. Uh huh. Like. Nori said it. It's two doors, you know what I mean? One door, you know what I'm saying? You got to pick that spicy, freaky, deaky. Another door, you know what I'm saying? You might have to, you know, sacrifice something, you know what I mean? And uh, straight, straight, as you on your own, you know what I mean? You do doing it on your own without the, without the backing of, you know what I'm saying, the, the machine. Artists who Definitely. deserve to move up but don't fit in the boo boo categories. Really talented people who aren't on the boo boo side of the game can't. It's not just music, it's entertainment. Sunday night, Diddy was taken into custody by federal agents. And it's not looking good, okay? Yesterday, details were revealed from his indictment. Now, again, for the record, uh, Diddy is being charged with three felony counts, okay? One for racketeering, one for trafficking, and the other for transportation to engage in pro, okay? I can't say... That's crazy. That's crazy work right there. So, you know, that... I mean, we're going to leave it right there. These is all the, the, all the allegations that they, they think Diddy's a part of, you know what I mean? He got took it in, you know, we gonna uh, we gonna keep our uh, coverage on this, you know, what I mean, continue to keep, uh, you know, our eyes and ears open on what's going on as far as, you know, what I mean, this uh, rest um, far as, you know, what's going on, going to happen as far as court and the proceedings. But, you know, there you have it, your boy T-Money with another lit live reaction reacted to the Diddy arrest you know and incidents leave in the chat if uh what your thoughts on the situation is you think your boy diddy's innocent do you think he you know what i'm saying is really been doing all of this stuff that they want to accuse him of doing you know like you know what i mean it's bad boy take that take that you dig but it is what it is man make sure you if you do the channel make sure you like like up, you know what I mean? Sub up, and we keep this, uh, you know, content flowing. So, hit your boy, hit your boys in the um, in the messages. We were, I really want to have a discussion about this one. I'm out one.